like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So UFC 296 just wrapped up the main event, Kobe Covington versus Leon Edwards. Um, as I predicted, I predicted it, uh, Leon Edwards would win. Um, my reason, you're probably thinking why, how how did I get it right? Go back to my prediction video, you'll see I got it right. You'll see I got the main event and the co-main event right. Um, start betting on me, boys. Start betting on what I say. Listen to what I say, boys and girls, I should say. Um, so for me... Leon Edwards is a technician, first and foremost. Now, going off the back of the press conference where Kobe Covington did talk about his father, which uh, I don't have words for that. It was totally wrong, out of order. He shouldn't have done that. But it did, create, it did create stir and interest in the fight. But you don't need to do that to create stir and interest in the fight. There's other things you could have said. Um, but I thought that might throw him off a little bit. I thought that negative energy he's used... That's been created by those thoughts of what he said about his father may affect him in the fight. He may burn energy over, over the night by him thinking about it. But he did the right thing in the post-fight press conference. Where the post-fight interview, Leon said he spoke to his, his coaches and his, and his uh, mother and his family and the support system calmed him down so he didn't actually lose any more um, energy on that because he could have been uh, sitting on that stewing on that until the fight, which then probably led him to start charging at him, but he didn't. He went in there as a technician kept a great distance, the distance that sort of nullified Kobe from shooting in, from strikes, from everything. Everything he was doing, he was getting punished for. Leg kicks, strikes, everything. Literally, he he couldn't do anything. He, that's, I've never seen Kobe Covington fight like that, where there's hardly any output, hardly anything going on. Um, masterful performance there by Leon Edwards, who defends his title now twice in a row. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely uh, getting up there. Longest winning streak in the UFC, I believe, joint now with Joe Semp here, uh, GSP. Um, yeah, Leon Edwards is on is on, <laughs> is on the rise for sure. Um, but I did have him winning this fight for sure. I didn't think Kobe Covington uh, would be able to beat him. Even when you look at when they both were facing off before the fight, Leon Edwards just looks bigger, he looks stronger, and he, he couldn't really do much. Um, I gave four rounds to Edwards, one to Covington. Um, it was an absolute <laughs> dominant performance. Um, Leon even took Kobe down a few times and went for a couple of submissions, landed some great kicks on the leg. Um, dominant, total shot out by Leon Edwards, which is what I thought would happen anyway. Um, so what's next? So I think that Leon should fight Bilal. Let's give Bilal his fight. He's been sitting on, he's been waiting. Let's give him his fight. Let's give him his fight. And then probably um, Bilal and Shavkat swap places. What I mean by that is Shavkat waits and then he fights the winner of Bilal versus Leon Edwards. Or Shavkat takes another fight. But that's another guy we need to watch out for, for sure. Shavkat is awesome. So yeah, um, Great victory and great win by Leon Rocky Edwards, as I predicted. Like, subscribe and leave a comment.